It's been here, hasn't it? Here we go this month. Hi, I'm Fruit, Fruit Brains, at Fruit Brains on TikTok, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want. Um, I really need to do an updated All My Fursuits video because it is very outdated and I found some stuff that wasn't in the last video. And there's some added stuff in here too. Okay, let's start. Back in 2015, I saw Rin, Rin, like... Um, she's like a blue coyote, wolf something, or like it has a strawberry. I don't remember. She made a foxy suit video. I don't know if it was in 2015 or the year before, but she made that. Anyway, I wanted to make that too. I've seen quite a couple like fursuits around or whatever, and I saw her make this. I'm like, hey, that's not that hard. I can do that. Because that's when I first started getting into my furry phase, like back in like 2015. So I made it. This is foxy. Um, square head eyebrows are drawn on but with like sharpie or something like that this eye is made out of foam it was white at the time and now it is yellow his bottom jaw is missing but he had a complete suit this is held up by popsicle sticks and the if you can see not even sewn <laughs> but his this is my first attempt my friend knew quite a bit like a little bit about fursuiting so we said we said we decided to make this back in December of 2015 around December 20th or so or a little bit before that the vision's awful my sight range is like that you can't even see because the other eye patch and still my sight range is awful um but yeah huge waste of materials the teeth are covered in duct tape wonderful i made him made this entire suit in like a night the head took me like about all week next one about a month later i was like hey let's make spring trap because i've seen a lot i saw lots of like cool spring trap suits around so i was just like why not he was complete full suit too his head his head took me a little bit of time I made that a little bit before and then i invited my friend over and we made the rest of it we completely fabricated it in one night and made the foam stuff in one night of course it's not gonna look good what did you expect yeah it's better it actually looks decently good but yeah it's an improvement from the month before so he was made in january 2016 and he's falling apart <laughs> that's all right oh his head, the inside of his head is really bad it has he has a bit of a moving jaw he also has uh, William Afton's teeth in there. Oh, I'm not sure if I can get into this. Ugh. I cannot see a thing. Jaw can move, I think. Can you see that? <laughs> but it's so, it is incredibly tight. Because um, in 2015, I was 12. So, <laughs> but... It's very uncomfortable and tight. Nothing is sewn. Eyes look cool. The teeth are just foam covered in paint. You know, it's completely fleece. Though I did make the head more rounded. Can't really tell what's going on in there. But yeah, it's not that great. Never took them out anywhere. Neither with Foxy. I showed Foxy to my entire family on um, uh, Christmas evening. Not evening. Yeah. Christmas Eve. Next one. I could not find her last time. And some little girl was really mad at me that I couldn't find it. But this suit was made in late 2016. My first actual, like, fursuit. My first actual fursona. I had tried to make a fursona, like, the year before. That didn't come of anything. I started making a tongue and had some, like, cheek pieces because my friend was making them. But yeah, she, her head base was made, like, the foam base was made, like, over a couple days, and then her face was fabricated in one night. Not really one night, I guess one day. No sewing, of course. I knew how to sew. But this is Amethyst, my Dutch angel dragon. I named her Amethyst, and I made her character when I, back in 2015, when I was starting to, like, really develop, like, a Sona, a character. 
I got a piece of amethyst from Disney World and I looked at the night sky, I was on my plane when I was going home and I saw like, not her color scheme, but something like that. You know, I was like, oh, okay, now I'm inspired. She got some horns. She has paws that are like dismantled and a tail. But yeah, it was like a G little clip there, the skull and crossbones. Cheap for, I got off of Amazon. Yeah. Um, I kind of redid her mouth so it is sewn a little bit. And her eyes, her, de her uh, design has been changed. Um, cause I made her look better cause this is very old. This first from Joanne, is from Joanne's, um, this is, uh, felt. Let's see, neck is cut off cause I tried to remake her. Oh no. Fleece on the jaw part. Oh, it's so squished. How? Okay. It isn't that bad. Sight's pretty good. But it's stuffy, and it's like really like squishing my head, so that's downside, but it moves pretty well. So it isn't that bad. It isn't great, I wouldn't sell it, I never sell any of my seats, but, you know. Oh, okay, what order should I do this in? I guess I'll go with him first. Now, in 2017, I decided to start making more characters. And my friend was making a suit at the time, and I decided to make a head base for her. It was actually for another person, but that never ended up happening. So, I wanted her to make a character, not a character, make a suit out of my new character, and I gave her the head base in return. Well, just like, she made paws, a tail, and a head base. So this is Jax, my second character, has two axes on the back of his ears. That's why his name is Jax. He's just an angry blue husky. <laughs> Original, I know. But he's, he's held up. He still fits and he still looks great. I'm very happy with him still. He's on a balaclava base. Got a spotty tongue. And a donut nose ring. That's upside down. Why is it upside down? I'm surprised I haven't lost that yet. Oh, and I like this. I had a, a bandana for my current suit made out of this, and I have no idea where it went. I lost so much stuff after I went to Philadelphia, it's insane. But he still fit, kind of. It was made for my 14-year-old uh, head. Well, 13, because he was made in June 2017, I think? Around that time. But he still, he still fits, he's still great. Great uh, breathing, vision, everything. He's just fine. He's great. And then I made another character on a whim because I was wanting to make um, a suit of my own, I guess. Um, he did not have a official colored ref until like over a year later. He was made about the same time as Jax and he was made, started being made around June, no, July 2017. So this is Mirage, the Bull Terrier. All these characters are still my characters. I still have them and appreciate them. He was my first suit I made completely on my own. He's a wonky, oh, he's a Bull Terrier bat mix and so he's got like things. He's a little bit wonky but he isn't that bad for completely on my own. I still like him. He's pretty cute. I wouldn't wear him out. He's too stuffy. Also, I say balaclava. I mean uh, lycra poorly glued together. From my lapis cosplay in 2016. Isn't that great? You can see how... <laughs> yeah, he's pretty tight. Um, he's got a little bit of room. The vision is pretty decent, I guess. I wouldn't wear him out because I can do so much better now, but he's pretty alright. So that's great. He's got paws and a tail. Most of these were uh, partials. Next one, my girl. I finally got a persona, an official like persona that represents me in very early 2018 because um i don't know i was trying to find 
I was trying to make a persona for a while and me and my friend were talking in our study hall about what my persona should be and um, gator dogs came up. I'm like, I want that. I don't want anything else. I want that. So we started planning. I wanted a mostly uh, brown color scheme, um, like a natural color color scheme and her name was actually like juke jukebox and jinx and we finally ended up with julius the gator dog she had she has like a you'll see in a second i started making her head in march 2018 or february here she is julius 1.0 i named her after julius caesar because i had that weird face or kind of like an orange julius because she has a kind of like fruit theme but here she is Another ball and clobber base. She, she's pretty small, but she's kind of cute. No back of the head, by the way. So, yeah, she's pretty great. Um, 1.0. I felt that this suit had, did not represent her character well enough. So I decided to make a 2.0. I also wore this to Anthrocon. I could not see. I could not breathe. That's also another reason why I decided to do that. Also, she's kind of just falling apart, as you can see, but, you know. On to Julius 2.0, which I made later that year. In about, I started in August. <sighs> she did not turn well at all. The suit I, sh I showed you guys in February of last year was Julie 2.0. I was like, oh yeah, she's great. I love her a lot. That was a lie. I hated her a lot. Um, she just had so many issues with her. I just really did not like the way she looked. She was way too big. Um, she's way too big for my bodysuit. And she just had way, way too many issues. And I started, I washed her in about, like, March 2018. Not 2018, 2019. And it completely ruined her. So right now, she looks like this, completely skinned. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> I'm so happy. But I do not want this thing sitting around my house. So I decided to make a start making a base in like June 2019. Uh, that didn't really turn out well, so I scrapped it. But she is currently looking like this. I was looking to brush her hair properly because it was so long because I was inspired by haphazard suits with her long hair. It just didn't turn out well. Next is my baby, Julius 3.0. I love her. I started making her in April 20... No, I started making her in March and then I finished her in like early May. She is the light of my life. I love her a lot. She's gone through a couple changes. But mostly, she's just beautiful, gorgeous. I love her. The best suit I've ever made. <laughs> oh, she's a little bit wet because I used her earlier and then I sprayed stuff in her. Lots more breathing room. You can see very, very easily. Where's my... Yep, that. That's my range of vision. I took her to Furry Delphia, um, to a local con. She's just great. You can put your fingers in her nose. She's got the big old teeth tongue, got the hair, ears. She's just wonderful. I'm very happy I decided to remake her because she was, Julie's 2.0 was, she's the suit I mainly feature on um, TikTok. She really got me lots of views. So I really, really love her a lot. Definitely my favorite. Next is a suit. Oh, he's a little bit messed up. I decided I want to be unique. I want something different. So in August 2019, I decided to make a two-headed suit. Because I thought it would be really cool and a bit of a challenge. So I, made up, so I created this sheep character. Not a goat, a sheep. People really confuse that. And his name is Mordecai. The two-headed sheep looks like this. You see he's a little bit messed up because he sits weird on my bed. 
He's got three eyes. You see mainly through this one. You can breathe through both. Uh, but also you can stick your hands in them. But he's great. Lots of breathability. Honestly, with three eyes, of course it's going to be bre uh, breathable. But he's great. He gets lots of looks. People really love him. He, I did not do the best sewing job on him. There's some things I would change. But he's really cool. I think he's great. A wonderful little man. Uh, he was born like this. No mutation, whatever. So, if you have any questions about him, please ask. People always have a lot of questions about him. He's not a demon, angel, whatever. He's not inspired by Beetlejuice. I get that a lot. So, he's just him. He was a pain, but I liked him. Besides my favorite. Yay. Um, last suit. He's not done yet. I was going to wait to make this video until he was done, but like a ton of stuff got in the way. I started doing a like suit commission. Commission. I'm doing it free because who cares. Um, I made a new character in N May 2019. I don't remember it. His name is Maurice the Cockatrice. This is his head uh, so far. He's not done yet at all. Uh, yeah. He's not looking too great right now, but that's alright. I don't know when he'll, I'll finish him, but, you know. I would put him on, but I think there's pins in there, and my head wouldn't really fit with all the duct tape. Um, but yeah. That's about it. Uh, please follow me for more suit stuff, especially if you like Mordecai or Julius. Tons and tons of stuff. Oh yeah, Julius 3.0 is a full suit. I forgot, to, I forgot to say that. She's a completely full suit. Mordecai just has some paws. And that's it. Um, so please follow me for more updates or something like that. I don't know if you like my suits. I also have Instagram where I post art. I draw. So if you want a like, badge commission or something like that or just a headshot, shoot something my way. And thank you for watching. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Bye.